Fine, there was no carnage. What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sams and this is That Comic Show. So, Venom came out. I definitely saw Venom, so this is my initial reaction to the movie. Now you've been hearing a lot of things, reading a lot of things about how people hated the movie, how this movie sucked, how this movie was probably the worst thing that Sony ever put out. However, I see it a little bit different. I see that the movie wasn't great, and it wasn't bad. It was right down the middle. It was a fun movie filled with action, excitement, and a whack storyline. I mean, the typical storyline is what we usually get from a comic book movie. You know, the person becomes the hero, he has a love interest, there's an evil guy that becomes another bigger boss of the same character and they fight it out and at the last minute they stop whatever world domination scheme that the bad guy had and then boom everybody's happy but there was a little twist to all of it remember this is a movie about an anti-hero a villain so at first Venom is actually a villain in the movie he has a plan that he's trying to do and Riot also has a plan that he's trying to do as well he having to fight Riot he has to fight off the actual villain of the movie uh, Riot takes over the guy in charge of life industries and he's saying listen send me back in space There's a million of these symbiotes. They're gonna come back here We're gonna take over the world and everything like that and during the whole time They're actually eating away at the human body, which is kind of cool. I like that The twist with the love interest is that they're engaged to be married at the beginning of the movie something happened They're no longer engaged in fact. They're no longer friends. I like that. That was a good little twist Don't expect to see anything related to uh, Spider-Man in this movie, nothing is related to Spider-Man in this movie, but they do drop some Easter eggs which I'm going to talk about right in the next section. We also see a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of cameos that we see, there's a lot of name drops that were given, and for me as a comic book fan I actually enjoyed and actually liked it. We saw Stan Lee of course, we have to see Stan Lee in these movies, and at the end of the movie it was pretty much a fun comedy between two characters all in the same character. So there's a split personality complex going on and I loved it. See, Venom wasn't going to be the greatest comic book movie of all time. It wasn't going to be the best comic book movie of this year. But it definitely wasn't the bottom of the barrel. It's definitely a fun movie. It's a smart movie and I enjoyed every minute of it. So the rating that I gave Venom was a 7 out of 10. I thought it was good. I thought it was great. Now some people are still going to bash the movie, which is cool. All I can tell you is to go out there and go see the movie. Judge it for yourself. Hey, see it as a matinee if you don't want to spend all that dollars. See it on Tuesday if you got AMC. All I'm saying is, watch this movie. You're going to be pleasantly surprised. I sure was pleasantly surprised. It went above my expectations. Once again, this is your boy Sam's. And this is That Comic Show. Zam's out. Now, Easter eggs. There was a couple of Easter eggs that I saw in this movie. I have to see it again so I can get all the Easter eggs. But I'm going to drop three big Easter eggs that was actually in this movie. In the beginning of the film, oh, my bad, spoiler alerts. There's a lot of spoiler alerts coming up. In the beginning of this movie, we actually see a, a rocket ship crash onto the Earth. And one of the scientists was still alive. His name was Jamerson. Now, if you remember the comic books, J. Jonah Jamerson's son is an astronaut. And we see that he is dead in the movie. They noticed him. They mentioned his name. He's an astronaut. He's gone. Brilliant. Now, number two. During the conversation between Eddie Brock and his girl, he talks about how he used to live in New York. How he had something big coming up and how he had plans in New York, but he ended up moving to San Francisco for his girl. So we get a little bit of hint that, yeah, he was in New York. He was probably going to be a part of the Daily Bugle, but he decided to move away to San Francisco to be with his girl. So, smart. I like that little Easter egg drop. Now, number three. Now, this is a big spoiler. Now, I mentioned in one of my videos that Carnage was in the trailer. That wasn't Carnage, that was Riot. Okay, fine, you're right, good. You want a cookie? No, you're not getting one. Now, we see Carnage at the end of the movie, not in his whole state, but we see the character who plays Carnage. And he says that when I'm released, there's going to be Carnage. A little bit on the nose, but it's all good. Those are the three main Easter eggs that I saw in this movie, and I hope that you guys find some more, and comment below to let me know what you found. Once again, this is Sam's, this is That Comic Show. Sam's out.